afternoon good night to everyone who's watching and welcome back to another video so today i have a brand that is not really that famous in india but i do like to collect some of these cars so let's talk about this brand and let's unbox these two that i got recently uh, so this brand is called the m2 machines now it's not a very famous brand like hot wheels matchbox or take it Tomica or Tarmac works. It's not that famous, but they do put out some really good cars. Now, if you are planning to buy an M2, my suggestion is make sure you're buying at a cost that is very the least costliest. I mean, the least price that you can find a car for, because it's going to be an a uh, hard. It's going to be a very hard sell in case you don't like that particular model. Now, this brand is something that is a hit or miss. You might like it, you might not like it. It depends on your personal taste. Now, for me, I like the brand because of their muscle cars. They do put out some really good muscle cars and I like them for that. And they have a lot of opening parts for a scale that is 1 is to 64. So, I like that about them and the most important that I like that is they come in this particular acrylic casing as i said i like the muscle cars i like their muscle cars that's why i buy these car this one and i think the only other car that car or the die cast manufacturer uh, with whom you can compare this is because they have a lot of opening parts is i don't know maybe majorette pgm uh, and which else has so much opening parts maybe some tommy cars but most of them will have either a bonnet opening or you will have a door that opens but when it comes to m2 you have the doors and the bonnets that open i think only pgm has that much opening parts and pgm is quite expensive and they actually only do more hyped up cars uh, like rwb or something like that now let's come back to m2 itself now here like i said muscle cars so i have Super B here, I have a GTO, I'm a huge fan of GTO. Then I have a Chevy Apache pickup. This was my first M2, I would say. Yeah, my very first M2 and I got it at a very good price. And the Camaro. And I have a Datsun here and I have a Nissan Fairlady Z here. Now these are the only two JDMs that I have from M2. It's strange that a brand like M2 makes JDMs too, but they're actually very good JDMs. Now let's go ahead and unbox these. So this is something that I got from Walmart itself from Canada. Uh, my brother picked this out for me. Now I pick out M2s only if I want them or else I don't pick it out. Now let's open each one of these. I Let's look at this packaging. Now this comes in a standard packaging like this m2machines.com. You can go and check them out there. And this is part of a series called Automods. So I don't know the series. You do find chase pieces also when it comes to M2. But again, I'm not so big into those. And same thing here. It says how many pieces of this car were made. So this says it was made 5,000 pieces worldwide. And this is a 1966 Chevy Corvette. 4 to 7. Okay. I don't know much about this. But I do like this, uh, this 66 Chevy. Let's open this. Now it comes like this. I like how they come in this acrylic casing. Very nicely made. Uh, it has a steel uh, finish in the bottom. The steel floor finish which I like a lot. Now let's open this also. Now this is a Plymouth uh, Cuda. It's a 1971 model. Let's open this too. okay i have both of them unscrewed now this here is the plymouth cuda the 1971 uh, plymouth cuda now if you see the rear it's uh it has that plastic uh, thing i don't know what it's exactly called if you know it leave it in the comment now this is very well detailed i like the way it is detailed you can see the engine is beautifully detailed i think it's on par when it comes to engine detailing with auto art auto world sorry it's very uh, on par with that and the interiors the doors of course open both sides 
and the detailing is very nice you can see the interiors it has the front and the rear seat yeah the steering wheel is a little too big but it's fine it has insert tail lamps and insert headlamps the grill is actually too chromed out maybe it's something related to this car i'm not sure but again the detailing is very nice and the wheels are on par with the muscle car itself how a muscle car should look like now let's see if this car rolls i have never seen whether these cars roll or not yeah they roll perfectly fine now the thing that i don't like much about uh, m2s now if you see here all of them have their opening parts open itself the reason is uh, they don't really close that well they are if you see if i'll try to close the scuda here see you, you always have that cap and you have to press it very hard so i uh, i like to display it with the open hood or whatever opening part is there that comes with the car itself now this is the cuda it's actually very well detailed now if you like it uh, in order to buy these cars you will have to check on ebay itself or if you have someone in us or canada and if they find these cars by all means buy it now let's come to the corvette stingray the 1966 version you can see this one the engine the hood closes perfectly fine and the doors open too the doors are little hard but they do open yeah they do open very, very nicely actually and again interiors are very well detailed very nicely detailed and uh, these are not riveted uh, m2s are not riveted so you can you, you do get a play set where you can uh, unscrew the base and change the wheels and all but i have only these and if you see look at the corvette the detailing is very nice you can see the headlight has that uh, the ones that roll on roll up when the uh, button is pressed but here it's rolled down completely you get the small indicators in the front the tail lamps are painted in this the tail lamp and the headlight is all painted very beautifully made very well detailed black and silver the wheels look good you can see the silencer also in the side very nicely made for the price i i i do like this so whenever i get a chance to find a good m2 i do purchase it at a good price if it's not priced correctly i stay away from m2 because it's a hard sell in india you will not be able to sell this that easily so make sure you purchase it at a lower cost uh, that and you pick out the car that you actually like uh, so that's all i have for this video guys if you want me to do a, open these and showcase these in another video do let me know let me know which car you want to showcase or which car you want to see from this collection here i will try another and make another video of that now if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and leave a comment below and if you have not yet uh, followed me on instagram do follow me on instagram i do put out some nice pictures there so that's all i have for this video guys have a great day ahead bye